finish this report. Oh boy, I better. Oh no, I have to. I have to read this book online first, or my client will think I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. Oh no, I forgot about that. I better go to the internet and check it out. Oh dear. Ah. Uh, well. I've just spent the entire day looking at this screen and going from one thing to the next. I think I'm going to just relax. Okay. Focus in. I'm going to listen to some music. I'm going to check Facebook. Tell everybody I said hi. I'm all set. Oh, Toastmasters in 22 minutes. I'll wait. Or nothing. Okay. What is going on here? This is crazy. I've spent all day on this. My eyes are bleary. I'm going to this little thing for entertainment and communication. I just, what is the world coming to? Well, I'm here because I feel very deeply about a case for paper. And I'm going to talk about why these things that you see here are just as valuable as what you might see over here. So, what is happening is that there's so much conversation about why books and magazines and, and direct mail pieces are becoming antiquated. The effects of this can be seen in the status of the U.S. Postal Service. And on these graphs, you can see since 2006, a decline in the, uh, or a net loss for the, the organization. The income is going down, expenses are going up, and the amount of volume of mail is decreasing. So social media and electronic communications are really taking off, and people are realizing that we really need to get on board here because this is a new revenue stream for business. But let's stop for a second because is it really because it's good for us? Is it because we want it? Or is it just because we're going after new money? Now I'm here to say there's a case for paper because we have scientific and psychological proof that paper is an effective medium for communicating. Now, what I want to do at the end of the day over on this side is I would rather pick up a good book, find my most comfortable chair, or get in my cozy bed, and just start reading. I love the way I can just turn these pages and really get into the drama of the novel and then put it down and pick it up whenever I want. We're familiar with how to find information in printed material. This directory can help me find any farmer's market in the area that I want. And psychologically, it's just much more um, comforting to be able to hold this in our hands rather than sifting through screen after screen after screen. There's a very important thing where a study was done in Europe and 4,500 people were interviewed and over 80% said that they would rather read the newspaper in the paper rather than on, online. So we are also very uh, affected by the mail. We can trust the mail, whereas when you're spammed, you can't trust that at all. A lot of people do not like to make transactions over the internet, so they're much more likely to feel comforted using a, a mechanism like a direct mail piece. Now, is that right for everybody? 
No. So really the answer is a combination of the two. Because what has been di discovered is that sales are greater when you combine the direct mail with the internet and the e email marketing. So that's why I'm making a case for paper. I love paper. I think it's great. People love it as well. And I think that it's time that we really consider helping out the Postal Service and mailing a few more pieces. And at this time, I'm ready to take questions. We will have two or three minutes for questions. Keep in mind, um, our questions to be addressed as an opposing point. How do you explain to people who very, feel very strongly that it's a green initiative if you get rid of paper, that it's worth it to print all that paper that they're going to throw away? Well, the printing industry this, these days has been guided by the Forest Stewardship Council, and so they have best practice for sustainability, and so there are forests that are being grown and harvested just for this specific purpose. So if you see this logo, the F, uh, FC logo on your printed material, you'll know that this marketer cares about the environment because they do have to pay a little bit more in order to have that seal on their pieces. Okay. okay, so why should, in a marketing sense, when I can buy a thousand views on the computer for 15 cents, time and time again in front of targeted markets okay. would I want to spend exponentially more on printed when it's going to cost more than 15 cents per piece plus shipping? Mm -hmm. Well, how targeted is your market? Age, demographic, economic status. Okay. Some, if you have a really strong targeted market, yes, I would agree with you that that is a good investment. I think where, where paper comes in is when you're not, when, you know, you're buying a list and you, it may not be as targeted as you want. Like if you have a list of people that have opted into your website or your email list, certainly you have a targeted market and you're on the right track. But if you're a new um, business and you're looking for to expand your market, then you have to go out and buy a list and that list may not be as targeted. So you actually have an opportunity to really craft a very creative message in a very compelling way to get your list to respond to you. Then the, then the next thing would be to follow up with the email, a secondary email. Or you could do it in reverse as well. So again, if the, if the list is not as targeted, a combination of the two really makes good sense. It's a good investment, especially when you're starting out with a new product. John? Uh, along with the evolution of man, we kind of phased out the carving hieroglyphs into stone tablets that communicate with each other isn't yeah. the phasing out of paper with electronic mail doing the same thing? I don't think that people are going to want to get rid of paper totally. I think the comfort level really is a strong thing. You know, we, we are looking at these screens all the time, and you can't feel anything in here. You can look at it, and it might generate a feeling but when you're touching something and you're really looking at the detail and the craftsmanship, you can actually feel it in your hands. Well, that's all the time we have for questions. Thank you very much, Lori. Thank you.